Hello folks, Jerry here and welcome back to uh, Racing House and as you guys can see I am recording with my new camera which uh, just arrived yesterday so this is pretty much my first time shooting with a professional camera it's a uh, Canon ATD and like I'm hoping that this is gonna turn out okay but I really have no previous experience with this whatsoever so you know just um, I guess don't expect too much but it does look kind of cool I do have a new backdrop it's, it's shit, but uh, as you guys can see, there's my bed, there's my, uh, I guess, old PC and uh, PS4 and some monitors, whatever. Anyways, uh, today I'm here to talk about uh, the 6.1 update, which was announced a few days ago on uh, Glue, uh, I guess, the official Racing Hours forums. So I did write down the main features of the 6.1 update in this video. First of all, I will give you information on it, and then as well, I'll give you guys, you know, my opinion on all those features as well. So there's been four new, uh, I guess, points that they made in that post and uh, they actually mentioned the one I'm going to talk about first last and that is pretty much performance and graphics uh, fixes, which I feel like these are the most important just because, you know, um, the game just hasn't been the same since uh, 6.0 came out and yes, I say this every time, but pretty much, look, on my iPad, if you watch videos that I made before the 6.0 update, all my videos were at full 60 uh, FPS all the time, and now they're just not because of you know the game runs okay, but um, it, it's playable, but it's not as good as good as it used to be on iOS devices. However, on Android, the game has just gone to complete shit since the 6.0 update. So I feel like on Android, you guys need to stabilize it. You know, um, just uh, doesn't have to um, like the whole uh, I guess menus and the garage doesn't matter too much. But uh, when you race, the game has to be smooth to make the overall experience enjoyable. So I feel like that's a must for all those issues and also the graphical um, fixes. Because, you know, as you guys know, the 6.0 update uh, messed up pretty much every single RAM and paint in the game. And they did uh, progressively fix them. However, every single time they fixed something, they also broke something. So at the moment, the problem is, uh, are the, I guess, flake paint, which just looks a lot off. And uh, the RAMs are too glossy. And I feel like if they want to, you know, fix the RAMs once and for all, they have to do it like they did before the 6.0 update, which pretty much means that... Uh, you cannot share, uh, like, I guess, um, all, uh, uh, I guess, textures or, you know, the glossiness uh, on uh, all rims because it needs to be separate. Like, some rims uh, before 6.0 looked more matte and some looked more glossy, and I feel like they need to adjust that because if they keep on just changing, you know, all the graphical details for all the rims, like, uh, when they fix something, it's just gonna broke something else. So, that's just my opinion. Um, I obviously have no real uh, experience with uh, designing rims and all that, but uh, whatever. Next up, we do have the test track, which in my opinion is one of the features which we definitely needed, because if you wanted to free run before, you had to, you know, go into a lobby, and if the lobby was for no one wanted to race you, you couldn't actually run, you would be screwed. But this time around, uh, they're actually implementing the new test track feature, not only for uh, when you already have the car, but also in the showroom. So if you guys, you know, are looking to buy a new car, if you're on a budget, uh, you can actually test the car, so you can actually see how it runs before you buy that car. And also, if you did some upgrades, you won't have to go into a lobby, but you'll just have an option from your garage to actually, uh, to actually, you know, test track, uh, I guess, test the car, there you go. And uh, I feel like this is a great feature because it will greatly save the time. Uh, when you, you know, are working on those tunes or are looking to buy a new car. So I feel like that is a really good feature and I'll definitely use it for, you know, my reviews and uh, other things as well. Next up, we also have, uh, I guess, the quick match feature, which pretty much means that you will have an option to uh, instantly race versus another player who will be in, a, you know, a rating that's similar to your car. So I feel like this is great. It's pretty much, I guess, just another variation of the test track. But uh, you actually, you know, get to race versus another human being, which is, um, I guess, fun. Uh, you will probably just, you know, stick to the test track feature, but quick match is a good, uh, good idea as well, and I'm happy that they implemented it. And finally, we do have uh, the so-called personal assistant. Now, this is pretty much a feature which will allow uh, newer players uh, to, you know, uh, find out which part is going to benefit them the most. For example, if they're on a tight budget, and you know they don't know what to upgrade this will pretty much help them out so i feel like this is i guess um a good idea for the feature but uh, most players won't exactly need it because we already have a general idea of what to upgrade 
And uh, if you guys really want, I can, you know, make a video on that as well, tell you guys which parts benefit your card the most when you're maxing out a card. So, uh, off the top of my head, those would be weight reduction, transmission, exhaust, throttle body, obviously tires, and, uh, you know, other stuff as well. So, if you guys want a video on that, let me know. But I feel like this is a cool feature, just because, um, you know, it will allow people who don't know what they're doing to, you know, give them a general idea of what to do. So, that's cool. And overall, I feel like the 6.1 update is, um, is good, just because I don't think there's any potential for a great fuck up here. Like there was in 6.0, but this is also a very much the thing. So obviously, Glue cannot afford another 6.0 update after you know uh, the disaster that was the past month, which pretty much stopped the momentum of, ra of racing hours. And I feel like the 6.1 update is uh, a great way for uh, the developers, you know, to get back on track. So hopefully that happens. Anyways, I feel like uh, you know this uh, will not change the game a whole lot, which is definitely good because you know the last huge change we had wasn't a good one so thank you guys for watching my name is jerry and i'll see you in the next video also i know that the lightning is pretty you know shit in this video that's what happens when you know the sun goes down and um you're, f you're fucking left with like awful lightning actually could probably do this would that be better no fuck that okay so uh yeah bye i don't know what the fuck that was